This place is famous for having the most venomous land snake in the world, the inland taipan. I'm on a journey to find one. I've got a good feeling about this. These are floodplains called gibber plains, huge expanses of land that are so dry and inhospitable that the earth dries up and cracks. People call them the moon plains. And that's where I'm headed today. It's gonna to be 7,000 kilometers to get to the area where the inland Taipan, the most venomous snake in the world lives. And who knows what we're gonna find on that way. And off we go. It's a long journey right into the heart of Australia. We've been driving for two days already and we're not actually even into the outback yet. It just shows how big this country is, absolutely massive. We're reaching the edge of civilization, the last human home before we enter snake country. This place is home to only about 20 people. It's really, really remote. It's time for me to keep my eyes peeled for reptiles. Come on, Lizard! Still no sign of taipans. I have to up my game if I'm going to catch this snake. This is the habitat for the inland taipan, the most venomous snake in the world. It needs that venom to be able to kill its prey as quickly as possible because its prey item is the long-haired rat, which has claws and teeth that are very sharp. It's such a harsh environment out here. You really don't want to lose your prey because it might be another few weeks before you see anything coming along. And this is their hiding place. There's holes here and they live in this kind of underground labyrinth, which is gonna make it particularly difficult for us to find one of these guys. So the best chance of us finding one is for me to get on top of the vehicle and Susie's gonna be driving up and down. We're gonna be doing this days on end and we're gonna be looking for a snake possibly coming out of his hole and that'll be our chance to find one. It's taking us hours of road cruising to finally see a glimmer of hope. So this is a snake shed and it's in perfect form actually. Who knows, this could be a baby inland taipan. It's absolutely pristine. Sometimes when you're looking for snakes in an area like this, you think, oh, I can't believe there's anything around here. It's so hostile, it's so hot. It doesn't feel like anything can live here, but there really is. And here's the sign that there are snakes here. Once again, no taipans. It's time to call it a day. Today is our last chance to find this elusive snake. And suddenly... Snake! Oh no, it's that stick again. Uh. This stick here, not even a stick, it's an old exhaust pipe or something. Uh, that is the only thing that looks like a snake up and down this road. It's just painful. There's probably only a few individuals um, in this whole massive landscape. So we're looking for a needle in the haystack. Sodding piece of junk. We make the most of the final hours of sunlight, but to no avail. I can't believe I'm really disappointed. We've probably done about 2,000 kilometers. It's been endless and we haven't found a single snake on this road. And I feel this is the point where I'm gonna have to give up, which I, I really hate saying that, but that's it. Uh, we're not gonna find the inland taipan right now. I'm not gonna give up though. I'm gonna find the inland taipan at some point. Despite being the most venomous snake in the world, a wild inland taipan has never killed anyone. I mean, no one lives here, so it's not like there's anyone around to get bitten. It was incredibly disappointing not to find the Taipan, but it just goes to show how rare these snakes are. I know there's one out there somewhere. Mm -hmm.